I'm going to show you a trick to help you memorize which pediatric conditions are more common in boys or girls and which age they most commonly occur. Ah man, Mr. Sketchmarker is totally a flashback to my childhood. Here we go. I'm going to list the pathologies on the left and then we'll go through if it's more common in boys, girls, and the age. So starting with osteochondritis desiccans. The age of this most commonly occurs is between 12 and 19 years old, and it's more common in boys. Next, we have slipped capital femora epiphysis. Ugh, it's hard to say. The age that it's most common at is between 12 and 14, and it also is more common in boys. Next, we have Osgood slaughters, and the age is 10 to 15, and surprise, it's more common in boys. All right, let's go on to Severs. Now, Severs disease is more common in adolescents around 10 to 12 years old. Now, it's important to note that Severs disease is rare in older teens because by late adolescence, a child's growth plate has already hardened into solid bone. And you guessed it, it's more common in boys. All right, then we have leg calf perthes. This is a disorder of the hip in young children. So we're looking at children between the ages of five to seven, and it's more common in boys. Next, we have developmental dysplasia of the hip. Now you can see we've gone in reverse of age. So this is gonna be the youngest. This is gonna be common in newborns. That's when you see it. Um, and this is actually the only one that is more common in females. Now you may be asking why, and there's you know, quite a bit of research to support that there is um, estrogen that is released in the female fetus, and this could lead to ligament laxity that predisposes female children to developmental dysplasia. All right, if you wanna learn more about what each pathology is, you can read the caption below.